Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm gonna talk a moment about moving colonies in the daytime. I harvested this honey here uh, about a week back and I have my feed buckets on here and I need to move this yard to a new location. And here we are in the middle of August and here in Alabama, it's usually pretty hot, but today we're blessed with some slow rain, it's overcast. We're gonna take advantage of these conditions and move these colonies out and get them prepared and if you'll notice there's almost no flight activity most of the bees are in compared to what they would be if it was sunny and 90 degrees and i just wanted to take a moment and share this with you i've, I've discovered over the years that when it's raining and it's there's no lightning it's safe to you know and it's safe to do so and if you don't mind getting a little wet you can move bees in the middle of the daytime with almost minimal loss and and certainly doing it without getting really really hot now, I'm not going to document this today due to it raining, but in other videos I have documented how I strapped the, the hives and everything. And I'm going to, what the first thing I'm going to do is light my smoker, smoke them in a little bit, set my feed buckets on the ground, and then I'll ratchet strap them. I'm going to set, slide the hives off on the ground. And I've got my two wheel hand truck that I've demonstrated in my harvest video with the extended forks on there. And then I'll load the blocks up first and then i'll use the two-wheel hand truck as well to load the the hives so i'll load the hives in the blocks but i'll put the blocks first since they're heavier put them towards the front of the trailer i've done this a few times this way and it works pretty well I'm, obviously i'm not going to be getting in the hives i'm just simply going to try to secure them up i have my sponges that i put in the entrance they'll catch some of the rainwater and help provide some water and they're only going to be sealed up about 30 40 minutes just long enough for me to get them down on the ground, get them loaded up and drive them 10 minutes up the road and I'm gonna set them out at my house and I'll get them treated, get them ready for next spring. And I have two or three other options where I can put colonies and I'll move those out either this fall or early next spring. Well, I appreciate you for joining me for this short video today. Never stop learning and we'll catch you on the next one.